You've probably heard it already, but Cloud Code is awesome. I'm going to take you on a quick journey and going to show you a few things that Cloud is capable to do. So I'm going to fix uh, something in my application and I'm going to create a new feature. So currently this isn't working. So if I click add product, it doesn't work. And now I'm going to ask Cloud to help me with this. So um, what I can do is um, shift tab then you see accept mode and then I can tell it like in product management screen if I click at product I get an error I can maybe quickly see if the error is here yeah so then I can even give it some context um, and now you will see how well, understands my code base, so it's considering now. Errors related to React frontend, specifically to select components. Now it's going to search in my code base. Let me check the product.jsx file since it's where the add product functionality would be, so it can. Um, walk through all the files and it has a very well complete context and in the meantime I can sh show you something because I did in the beginning of this project I did slash in it and then you can create a cloud.md file where it uh, walks over your uh, code base and it writes everything down that is uh, helpful later to, under to keep understanding and memorizing the application okay so it's already trying to fix something now I need to check if there are similar issues in the end form. Let's see. And after it has fixed this issue, I'm going to also show you how I plan with Claude and then build a new feature. So it's um, in I'm building an application where um, companies can create agents. And I also want in an agent overview, I want a like a testing UI where you can test the agent here in the dashboard. And I'm going to ask Cloud to do this. So let's see. Okay, I think it fixed the product management. You see how easy it has done this. Let's also see if it did fix. Yes, it fixed. Okay, great. Thank you. And now I'm going to show you how I plan with Cloud. Then again, it's now in accept mode, but I can um, do a shift tap again, and then it's going to in plan mode. So now I'm going to ask it, okay, can you now add, um, okay, no wait. Okay, let's, let's now make a plan to integrate a test chat UI for each agent. So that's so that we can test the agent internally in our dashboard. So now Cloud is going to look in my full uh, code base and also with the cloud md file and all the contexts it has memorized and then together we can brainstorm how this should work i can give it inputs responses until we have a nice plan to implement this and this works amazing okay it's now searching through all the um, different files so it understands what to do So I previously used cursor, but I moved to cloud code now since I think it's fundamentally way better in understanding a large context um, project. Almost every change I ask it to make, it's instantly uh, fixed or created as I want. And it even thinks um, further than me. So it comes with new features or things that are very handy um, that I didn't think about. That's awesome. Okay, so you see in plan mode, it's going to read through all the 
uh, files that are related to the feature we're building. Yeah, and by the way, I built a complete API and interface with cloud codes within, I think, one and a half day. Previously, this had take me um, around a month to build this and now within one day I can basically build this application. Full API, um, React dashboard, it's amazing. Okay. Okay, so now this is the report. So here's a cloud plan. Create an integrated chat testing interface within the agent management page that allows administrators to test chat interactions interactions with each agent directly from the dashboard without needing external API tools. So now the implementation steps. So I can walk through all these steps. And if I think it's right, um, I can tell it yes and auto accept edits or yes and manually approve edits. And if you do manually approve, you have to approve everything manually, of course. Auto accept it starts to do a little bit more and sometimes it asks for an approval. But for example, here I think it suggests to do a pop up and I could, for example, tell it no, please do it like in the interface, in the existing interface. And then together we are going to brainstorm over and over until we think we have everything clear and then Cloud can start integrate it, integrating it. Okay, so um, yeah, maybe I can for like. Um, demo purposes, I can do yes and auto accept edits. Okay, so it makes a plan, a to do list, and then it's going to walk over every task in the to do list. And by the way, I'm also not even running Cloud in my IDE, but I even use like a separate terminal because I almost never um, check the code anymore because it's so good. Okay, I think it's now algorithmizing the agent chat tester React component in the background. And I think within a few seconds, it will show me what it did. And I can also see the, so sometimes I still open my IDE, but sometimes I also just trust Cloud and then later check, check what it did. So here you see like it writes a new component with everything there. So as you can see, so it automatically accepts and creates files because it's in accept mode. I will find where the buttons are and add test chat button. Okay. It's adding a dialogue now. And most of the times what I also do is like go to here. I still use cursor for this, but I can also do it from command line. And then I commit my changes in the meantime so I can also always revert them. So if Cloud makes weird changes, I can go back to the last commit and then, but even Cloud can commit for me. And I think what is also very helpful and what made a big change in my AI development 
is you explain to Cloud, for example, how to use the command line interface, in this case of Laravel, but if you develop some sort of other application, almost every framework has its own CLI, its own way to connect to the database. And if you make it clear to Claus which of how to talk to the database and how to run tests, then it can like keep iterating, iterating, iterating until it has found the right solution and until it has fixed the bug. And I think if you yeah can, can create this iteration loop, um, you will be uh, succeeding. Okay, I hope it will code a little bit <laughs> faster, but I don't know if I can show you the end result. As you can see, it's taking it very serious. Um, would be awesome to show you what the end result is, but okay, good news. It finished um, the implementation, so it gives a um, summary of what it has created, how to use it, and the key benefits. So let me test it out. So we have agents here. Let's click this. And now it has this test chat, which opens this dashboard. I can create a product and I can tell it hello, but still fail to send. So what I'm now going to do is, again, I'm going to tell it, okay, great. I have tested it and if I send a message in the test UI, I do get an error. Fail to send message, cannot read property of no reading content. So then again, over and over, I'm going to um, give Claude feedback um, and then it's going to write fixes again and yeah, going to test things uh, on its own. And this way we can build applications with Cloud very easily without <laughs> a lot of effort. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like these kind of tech videos, please like and subscribe. Have a nice day. See you soon.